In this video, we'll be learning the types of interfacing we have and its uses. For those who don't know what interfacing means, interfacing is a fabric used to stabilize garments. In other words, it gives stability to garments. And we have two types of interfacing. We have the fusible and we have the sew in. The fusible is the one that already comes with glue. You just need to iron it. And we have the sew in that doesn't come with glue. You have to work your way around it and sew it in. In this video, I'll be showing you all the types of interfacing we have, or let's say the one I have, and I'll be telling you how to use them to get the best results. Let's go. So we have the paper stay. This is what it looks like. The paper stay is used to give extra volume to garments. Let's say you want to make a peplum now and you don't want it to be too bulky. You can use your paper stay. I use paper stay for boss cut too. Just a little part, maybe the lining or so. I use my paper stay for that too. So, or even sleeves that you just want to give a little volume to. You can use your paper stay. Then we have the air stay. This one is the ogapapata because you literally just need estate for basically everything. We all know velvet is very stretchy and at times we just need it stable. We want it not to stretch. This is what you need. Your estate will make sure your velvet is not stretching because the moment you glue this to your velvet, the velvet is static like that. It's not going to stretch anymore. Materials like velvet, lycra and the likes, you need your estate. You need your estate for bus cuts, you need it for princess cuts, you literally need your estate for everything. But in case whereby you are working with the budget, because estate is more expensive than the BFF. We also have the BFF. The BFF comes in white and black, as you can see. In a case whereby you are working with a budget and you just don't want to put air stay all over your fabric, then you can substitute that with the BFF. The BFF also has similarities with the air stay. It's just the only difference is that it is cheaper. You can use your BFF to stabilize fabrics too. You can use it for your princess cuts. In fact, I have a video on my YouTube here that I made a top, beaded top. If you can, if you've watched the video, you can testify that I used a BFF. So, like I said, if you are working with a budget, because the air stay is like I think 800 naira now in the market, and you are working with a budget, this is like 150 naira. So, you can always use your BFF in substitute for the air stay. But if you ask me, I think the air stay is way better. So, like I said, you can use your BFF to turn fabric, you can use it to stabilize your sleeves, you can use it to turn your neckline, you can literally use it for everything. And in my videos to come, you will see how I implement and use all this interfacing. Just keep notes and watch very closely. So, that is that about SD and BFF. Then we are going to head over to the sew, sew in interfacing. As you can see, this one does not come with a gum, so you have to work your way around it. And that is where this big hemming gum comes in. What I do is that I'll put this one. This is a this is more like a glue. So I'll put this on this seal in interfacing and put my fabric and iron it all together. It is going to make the fabric work. It is going to merge the fabric together like that. So what do I use this for? I use it for structured sleeves. In case you want to make something really structured and you want it really nice and bulky, you are going to be needing this seal in interfacing. Like I said in my videos to come, you will see how I use all this interfacing to make some certain outfits. So you want to stick around for that. Takes us to the wording state. We have this wording. For me, I don't use wording for any other thing than my boss cuts because it's really bulky, and me, I just don't like bulky clothes. So the only thing I use my wording for is the is my boss cut and my princess cut. That is the only thing I use it for. I use it for the bust area alone. Just like its name, it, is, it has a cloth feeling. It has a cutting feeling. It is just like clothes and it comes with gum already. It is a fusible interfacing. What do I use my cloth stay for? Assuming you are making a fabric that is very, very lightweight. Let's say like lycra. You want it to still look like clothes. This is what you need. It's still going to give it that cloth feeling. It's not going to be bulky at all. And like I said, this video is just to tell you the interfacing we have. You really can't understand how to use all these things unless you see me use them. That is if you don't know about them already. You can't get everything in this video because you would have to see me actually use them in videos and you would want to stick around for that, like I said. So that is that about the cloth stay. Then we now have, lastly, we have the color stay. The color stay comes in two pieces. We have the extremely thick one and then we have the light one. 
I use this color stay for a lot of things. If you want to make a really, really structured peplum, I'm talking about the 720, the 1440, you need a color stay because it's just going to give you that flounce, it's going to give you that, that really nice structure. And I bought the thick one and the lightweight one because at times I don't want it really bulky, so I go for the lightweight. And when I want it extremely bulky, I go for the thick one. So that is that about color stay color stay is just for structure be it structured sleeves peplum anything that has structure you need your color stay and like i said in my videos to come we are all going to be we'll be implementing how to use this interfacing so please stick around don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the notification bell thank you for watching bye